Hello everybody, St. Riot, welcome to Bloodborne. Um, I've always had this idea for a character who um, cannot pick up a weapon, uh, cannot get the saw cleaver, saw spear, uh, the threaded cane, or the hunter's axe, um, or any other weapon that he has access to until he beats the cleric beast. And he gets access to the church hammer. Um, I have not played this game in a minute. Oh god. Look at this dapper fucking gentleman, by the way. Edgar Allan fucking... Vincent Price over here. That's what's up. I got a torch. Now this torch is going to do shipper damage, but it's better than my fucking hands. It's better than my karate chop. I would show you that, but it's... Yeah, see? Torch is better than karate chop. Now we can at least look the part. Fake it till you make it, right? Where the fuck are those oil urns? Did I already pick them up? Are they by the birds? God damn it. 18 blood vials, that might be enough. What do you guys think? Is that enough? Fuck it. See what happens. Okay, now I've got the settings turned down volume wise and stuff. That's all I meant to do. Oh god. Fuck it. This dude's gonna screech like a bitch. But the best music in the f fucking. Oh. There we go. I already had it turned down, but he's going to screech like a bitch. But his music is like the best, most epic shit. How much damage? Two. Okay, that's not good. It's not good damage. So the torch is better to use. Fuck. Alright. I'm hesitant about using the Molotovs right off the bat. Oh shit. Because I've got the volume turned down, I'm missing out on some audio cues. Like when he screeches, it's like you know there's about to be an attack. Alright, I haven't used any Molotovs yet, so. Ooh. I need to decide right now if I'm gonna use them or not. Um, if I use them, I'm kind of. If I use a Blood Vial, then I'm basically committing myself to this run. And I don't know that I wanna do that. Oh, you piece of shit. You monstrous fucking piece of shit. Okay. Alright. I'm feeling pretty good. Fuck it. We're doing it. We're doing it. This is the one. Alright. We got our oil urns ready. Please don't kill me. Oil iron. Do something. Do something, you big armed bitch. 
Alright, uh, the headshots would give me the bigger damage, but there's a chance I would miss, and I'm not in a missing mood. Alright, come on, there we go. Oil urn, please hit, please, God, okay, yes. No, you can't kill me now, you can't kill me now, you fuck! Fuck! Round two. Down to nine Molotovs. Not getting those back. And like I said, I'm not going to farm for them or spend fucking blood echoes on Molotovs. So if I run out of Molotovs, it's going to take forever to beat this guy with the torch. I'm just not going to do it. I'll just fucking delete the character. And uh, we'll just try again. Some other time. Probably when I'm not pulling my fucking hair out with rage. <laughs> Alright, you son of a bitch. And what's... I have a pretty reliable, like, method here of beating him with just the torch. Oh, shit. I have stamina. But it, look how fucking long it would take. I think it works better in a second phase, maybe. Alright, um... Alright, do something. That's good. That's a good move. Do that, bro. Oh, they fucking... Alright, I have to heal. Because I've already thrown a fucking Molotov. Because I wasn't thinking. Oh, if I miss with one of these, God fucking help me, I will fucking cure cancer. Oh, that's not good. Get away from that. Oh shit, there's a wall here. Of course. Just right into the motherfucker. Give me something. There you go. I don't think Molotovs do limb damage, so I'm not going to cripple him doing this. Oh my god. I was wrong. I was like fortuitously wrong. Oh, okay, now he's mad about it. Oh, fuck me. I need to stay like right here. Alright, so he's uh, healing his limb damage that I've done. Oh, I got turned around like a motherfucker. Don't you kill me now. Don't you fucking kill me now, you fucking monkey armed horse fucker. Going for the grab. Got 14 blood vials. 13. Oh, that was foolish. Everything that's happening is foolish. Ugh. Goddamn camera. Work with me. Work with me. Oh, God, I went through a fucking Molotov and jumped on me. It's a little harder to read, I guess, in this phase. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I missed one. This might be the end of this one. Do something that is easy to read. Thank you. The headshots are definitely the way to go, but god damn. Oh shit. Got one less Molotov. But we're past the halfway point and we got. Just gonna pull that. Yep. Ah. 
Nice. Alright. Back to this strat. You can't stay right behind him because he'll punish you. But right to his side here. And just strafe him the fuck around. Seems to work pretty good. Alright, I'm taking a little bit of damage. I think we've I think we've got this. I think. Oh shit. I need that right side exposed. So I need to position him somewhere else. But he keeps doing that. There we go. Alright. Let's bring him out just a little bit. Killing limb damage. That's fine. That just means my... Oh shit. I guess I can throw pebbles. They're quite thrilling. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're not good. We aren't good. We aren't good. We're the opposite of good. We're bad. Oh, yeah. Get fucking lit on fire, boy. I guess headshots with a torch don't count. Give me that right side. Give me that right side. Five blood vials. But look how little health he's got. Oh, fuck. Didn't see that attack coming. Oh, and I guessed wrong there. Alright, four blood vials. <laughs> that little chip damage he keeps doing. There's a way to fucking avoid that. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Why do I keep jumping into that? We were doing so well. We were doing so fucking well. God. No. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my... Fucking god! <sighs> oh... Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, um, what inspired this little misadventure here was, uh, a buddy of mine on PlayStation that, uh, I've done a few 
duels and fight clubs and stuff like that with. Uh, if you check on my page um, on the featured users, you'll see uh, you'll see a fella named Ghost Hardware, and Ghost Hardware does all these crazy fucking blood level four. Oh God! Cursed level four. I don't have any blood vials. Um, he does all these challenge runs, you know. And, uh, he just got me back in the mood to play some damn Bloodborne, you know? And so, I know that this is not anything to people that do these kind of things. Um, I'm sure, uh, now I get one. <laughs> I'm sure people have done much harder little chalice runs and what have yous. But this was a fun way for me to to come back to Bloodborne and try this. Um, I would seriously, it would take a lot of practice, but I would seriously like to give it a go going straight to Gascoigne straight to blood starved beast uh and then to um Ludwig's holy blade I think that could be fun um I don't have any blood vials fuck I'm fucked We got the Kirk Hammer. And that's what matters. Hell yeah. And you know what would be the fun in this if we didn't come back here and stomp these motherfuckers and show them who's the boss now that we got the fucking means to do so. You know what I mean? Because all of a sudden I'm the man with the big ass fucking sword hammer. And I ain't just running away no more. God, I love the combat in this game. So cool. So fucking cool. I wonder what happens if you R1, L1, L1. Of course it looks cool. Why wouldn't it? Everything about this game is fucking cool. Get fucked on. <laughs> Get hammered. Get shamay made. And I'm in motherfuckers. I'm just fucking beast mode. That's what it is, y'all. It's fucking beast mode. Oh, I got something for you. You're bullet ass now. Get fucking wrecked. Oh, and look how easy it is. Now we've just cleared this motherfucker all out. And we got our Kirk Hammer. Right? Wait, let's get the fucking... Yeah, there we go. Alright, guys. This has been St. Riot. Bloodborne. Kirk Hammer Challenge. I'll see you guys next time.